Steve, uh, quite surreal end to a game of football there. Does that just epitomise that never say die attitude you've instilled? Oh, I think so. I mean, um, we've kept going all season and uh, to get ourselves against a really good side, being 2 0 down to get something out of the game, it feels like a win. And, uh, and we kept going. I mean, the, the, the first half I felt that we, we just didn't get on the front foot enough, but we've got to give Grimsby credit. That's why they're up there. They're a really good side, got some good players, didn't let us play. We were a bit sort of, I thought we moved the we didn't move the ball quick enough and we moved we, we went backwards too often in the first half. We did a, we changed, changed things around a little bit at half time. Um, and we were on the front foot for most of the, the second half. You know, you know John Worsnock's pulled off some great saves, but I thought Hobby and then the one that bounced back to John Rooney quite easily got the win for us. So but delighted, you know, to 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 uh, got something out of the game against a really top side. Strangely similar to uh, another game they had against Bristol Rovers early in the season. Yeah, it was. Um, and um, hey, we, we're trying to get as many points from out to the end of the season as we can. We're looking at one or two, we've changed things down a little bit today. But like I say, it was just, uh, it was just pleasing in the manner that um, a, how we played in the second half. We were on the front foot, we were more of a threat. Um, and the goals uh, to get us back in the game were good. But the first one was an excellent move. Uh, and then John, sticking the pen away, a lot of pressure on him to score, and he stuck it away well. And then after that, it could have gone either way again. Talking of John Rooney, brought him on midway into the second half, and he, he made all the difference in the end. He played the ball through to, to Ryan Higgins for the first, and then, as you say, dispatching the penalty for the second. Yeah, I mean, I spoke to John and Craig about uh, leaving them out today. We wanted to have a look at one or two other things in the team. Um, and they understand that. Uh, but as always, as a sub, you want them to go on and create the difference and, uh, and make that difference, and, and they certainly did that today. Even Obby, you know, at the end, I know he was only on for I think it was three minutes, but he's nearly scored, <laughs> nearly scored the winning. It was a bizarre ending where the ball nearly looped over John Worst. I've said it would have been after the second goal. You know, the only thing that would have got past him because again, as you mentioned, save after save. Yeah, he's made some terrific saves. He's been brilliant all season, um, and um, as I say, they. They broke on us, we broke on them. And it's like watching a basketball game. Where it was a great you know, advert, wasn't it, for the conference? It was a great atmosphere today. You know, our fans, as always, get behind us, and the atmosphere they create is brilliant. But it was great to see a big travelling contingent of Grimsby fans here that made the atmosphere. You talked in the press this week about freshening things up, changing things around, wanting to keep going for the last week. You brought players in like Ibn Torre today, who slotted in lovely at left back. Yeah, I mean, hey, they have these like Ibn and Kane, they haven't played much football. so. And, and maybe you know at the start of the game they were just a little bit, uh, a little bit slow to react to things. But this is this is their opportunity to, to show us that they're, they're more than capable of doing a job for Chester. And I thought he'd be got better as the game went on. Um, Kane probably still trying, you know, trying to find his feet a little bit with us. But uh, we'll keep working on things. And uh, hey, we've, we've lost one or two today from injuries. So hopefully Sean, Sean McConville should be 100% fit. Um, Gareth Roberts. Uh, Matty Brown still struggling a little bit with, a, with an injury, but we'll, we'll assess everything on Monday and then be ready for Tuesday night. It's a draw that feels like a win, but looking ahead to Tuesday night, what will that do You know, in the dressing room and, and between the lads to, for that comeback? How will it prepare you for midweek? Oh, it's great. I mean, like I say, you know, when, you've, when, you've, when you've been involved in a game like that and you've been 2 0 down and to get something out of it like that, it, it, you know, I just feel like I'm. Uh, so, um, you know, hey, we've been on the receiving end of somebody scoring late against us to deny us maybe three points. So, uh, hey, you know what it's like, but we've done it a few times and you've created a lot of excitement this season. One blemish on, on today would probably be George Thompson coming off in. He yeah. didn't look in it in a great way. Have you got any kind of update? Not yet, but it's, it's, uh, it's gone over on his ankle. It's quite bad. Uh, maybe two, three weeks. Yeah, we'll have to see. We'll, we'll know more when it settles down, won't it? And he's on way to hospital, I believe, now already. Just have a check on it. Steve, just okay. to us on last Tuesday.